Hello everyone, it's Astrology here. Welcome back to SI Files Curtain Call, where today we are fixing another mechanism. Hopefully it's not as complex. Sure is a mess down here. What are these? Looks like five gear controllers. Better put them back that we'll get this working again. So this these can be placed on lapis lazuli blocks. So that's one. Don't know where the rest go, but that's one. Alright, here's two. Oh, there's three over there. And four. Now, is five back here or is it back there? Probably back where it was. Oh, it's just down here. That should do it. Wait, what is this stuck here? Another journal? Click after reading. A month. One whole month I have been on the horrible ship. I work day and night with the rest of the crew. I talked to a few of them. Seems at least 75% of the crew were Shanghai'd like me. Some have been here for a few months, others years. I need to find a way off this ship. The ship creaks more and more each day and the storm is approaching. I fear it'll be torn to shreds. Here's hoping we survive the storm. Nathaniel Bradson. Interesting. Hey, George, try the mechanism now. Uh, it works. Thank goodness it works. Thank you. No problem. I should try to find Trina now. Because she probably knows something about the ins and outs of this place. Alright, Trina. Hello, Trina. Hi, have you seen you haven't seen Juliana? No, why? Good, she's driving me crazy. Trina! Distract her! Is Trina here? Um I guess not. Oh, there's a button there. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Uh where'd she go so fast? The button! Nope, and I can honestly say I have no clue where she is. Well, if you see her, tell her I want to talk to her about a few more of these costumes. Will do. Is she gone? Uh, yeah, and so are you? Huh, not quite. Care to elaborate? Take a look at the back wall. What the? Ah! Another journal! Oh, shoot. Neat trick, huh? How? Why? To answer your first question, there's a button on both sides of the wall. I didn't miss the button before, though. Ah, okay. Second question, apparently it's always been there, although it's now it's, it is now electrical instead of mechanical. Neat! Just press the button on your side when you're ready to come back. I wonder if there's anything hidden back here. <gasps> I wonder! We are shipwrecked. Everyone survived with minor injuries. I don't remember when the story... I don't remember much from the storm thanks to hitting my head, but I can recount a bit. The storm tossed the ship like a toy. We were sitting ducks. The ship began to fall apart. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. We tried to keep her together. Even Captain Hart tried. This went on for at least two hours until the ship finally split. Lightning struck them and the mast broke. It crashed to the deck. Most of us were thrown into the sea. I got hit with a piece of timber from the ship. Thankfully, another crew member helped me to shore. Last thing I remember was lying on the sand. Next thing I knew, I woke up in this cabin. Apparently, the locals found us and brought us here. I was brought to their ruler's house. It is a young woman named Mira. Apparently, since I was the worst off, I was brought here. I guess we shall see what happens next. Nathaniel Bradson. So far, nothing different from the story Atalia told me. All the secret places, though, make me more certain Charlotte could still be here somewhere. So, journal number one, two, three. Okay, so where do I go now? Oh, I just need to press this. Done exploring? Yep. Any other interesting things you can tell me? Not really. There you are, Trina. Oh, no. We need to talk. Um, I'm gonna get going. Trina, I've been looking for you everywhere for you. I even went into the box seats. Sorry, I've been busy. I should go. Box seats, she says. Wonder if there could be another journal there. Journal ho! Not much here. It's just some tickets and pay bills. Alright, other side then. Apparently not. Other side then. Ow. 
Okay, so now we go up this side. I like the use of the terracotta, by the way. R really neat. Nothing much here. Carpet is slightly raised here. I wonder if I... Journal number four! A journal! Click after reading. We are most definitely stuck here. At least until the boat is fixed. I'm not complaining, though. This island is beautiful. And it's been about four days since the storm. I'm a bit sore, but thanks to Mira, I'm on the mend. I'm, I am on the mend. Apparently that's a phrase. She and her people have shown great kindness to us. They have been here for generations. I have done a bit of exploring. It seems the island has more mysteries to it than I can count. Mira has told me many of their stories, about half of which she was able to prove to me on the island. The most interesting story is about a strange gem. The legend says that he who holds the gem is the rightful ruler of this island, and will have good luck always befall them. Must be nice to have good luck all the time. Mira's coming back. She says she has something she wanted to talk to me about. Nathaniel Bradson. Very interesting. I wonder what she wanted to talk to him about. Hmm, I really need to get a move on. Since I have no leads from here, maybe I should take another look at the scene of the crime. And finally press the freaking button that I discovered in episode 1. Okay. Notice these scuff marks earlier. I wonder if something moves around here. This does. That did something. Another secret passage. Nathaniel sure wanted this place to be a maze. All right. La la la, I'm the best singer ever. Definitely behind Charles' dressing room. Dore. Who is it? I'm busy. It's me, Jonathan. What do you mean? What do you want? I need to talk to you. Fine, come in. Well, speak. You're my friend, and, I, you've, and I've been quite a pain lately. Whatever do you mean? The way you treat everyone. George, the director, even the detective trying to find poor Charlotte. Who I might add, you were also mean too. Why, I never. You are never like this. You are letting the fame go to your head. I am not. Everyone is being so unprofessional. That's why I say Charlotte ran away. She was just jealous of me. I am better. This is why I got Nathaniel Bradson's own dressing room. That is just... Do you want... What do you... That is... Do you want... Do what you want, Charles. I can't stop you, but as a friend, I think you should reconsider what you think of yourself and others. Bye. Good day, sir. I need to search that room, but not. But busting through this door is probably not a good idea. I need a distraction. I wonder if Jonathan could lend me a hand. He should be somewhere backstage. And Jonathan is not right here. Is Jonathan back here? Nope. Why the heck would he be? Oh, he's over here. Jonathan. Or not. What are you doing back here again? Messing with the curtains? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what is a good position to see to view this conversation? I'll just I'll I'll be right here. I'm just standing here. Why on earth would I be messing with the curtains? What is going on? I am being falsely accused. I am just calling what I see. Will the two of you please stop fighting? Uh, Jonathan, is this a bad time? No, I could talk. I think these two need to sort themselves out. I have work to do. Bye. I'm just walking around a bit. Stay away from Mr. Lyons. Uh, okay, what is that? Can I trust you? Of course. I need to get Charles out of his dressing room. Sadovor, I assume this has to do with your investigation. Yep. Okay, I'll head on over there. How are you going to get in? Once he leaves, he locks the door. Leave that to me. To the secret passage! Alright. Okay, now to wait for Jonathan. Was his, always, was his name always spelled like that? <laughs> I didn't even notice the H there. I'm used to not having that. Uh, who is there? It's me again. Would you leave me alone? I need you... I need you on stage to run some lines. You cannot do that yourself. No, it's easier with all actors and actresses involved. Fine, I'm coming. Good to go. Snooping time. Okay, so water bottle, hairbrush. For someone who claims to be the best, Charles sure is disorganized. Uh, nothing much. Easter's costumes. Not the same material like I found in Charlotte's room. 
There's a carving here with uh, movable letters. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on. Please do not spam the buttons up, down. Hug. Uh, an island lost in time. A storm brought us here. To learn the truth of what happened, enter the name of the Lady Fair. Alright, so where is that? It's... Oh, it's... Either I'm putting in Mira or I'm putting in Isle. I'm pretty sure I'm putting in Isle. Where the heck is the L? Nope, I'm putting in Mira. Aha, it was Mira. Got it! Journal number five. Mira has entrusted me with a very dangerous task. Mira took me on a walk to the middle of the island, farther than any of us had, had traveled yet. We walked for about an hour talking. She asked how I came to be in the company of Hard, and I explained to her how I was shanghai and my hopes of returning home. She then revealed to me a secret. She has discovered that Hart plans on stealing the Gem of Legend. She wants me to take it. She wants me to take it away from this island. It has caused her people far too much trouble. The legend she explained to me was just a story told by the answers to give the islanders hope. A story they held on to until today. She explains to me the plan. She, she trusts me, and I don't want to betray that trust. Three hours. That is all I have. Intriguing. So he didn't steal the gem. He was given it. Interesting. He's on his way back. Got it. John, could you come out to the light sound box quickly? On way. On way? Is that seriously a, a, a thing now? I've never heard that. Alright, so, Nicholas, what's up? I need, your, I need you to hear this, okay? Wait a minute. Are you sure? I mean, they... Detective. Of... Careful... That is coming from Charlotte's microphone. I don't know why, and I didn't think to turn it on before. I thought I heard something on her mic earlier. You were messing with the microphones? Uh, well, I guess it is part of your job. Hey, has anyone seen Arthur? He's been MIA all day. I need to talk to him. I haven't seen him. He has a microphone, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm still a bit tired. Not thinking too quickly. One second. It has to be here. Oops. I recognize that sound. It's an old light board starting up. An old light board? Yeah, backstage is the old light booth. I think I'll go check it out. Sounds like Arthur is there. Thank you, Nick. Uh, let me know if you hear anything else. Will do. I think I know where the sound board is. If, I, if I'm right, it's right here. This is the old light box. Arthur? Ah, uh, how did you... Where did you... I could ask you the same things. Why is there a period at the end of his name? <laughs> uh, uh, I guess there's no hiding anymore. Why on earth would you be hiding? Are you looking for the journals? How did you... One word. Detective. Right, yes. I am. I am, and I found one in here. Just now. Here. Thanks. I just want to prove that my ancestor Nathaniel was not the pirate the story claimed he became. It just doesn't seem right. Understood. Any luck on the case? I have a lead. Let's just say you gave me more clues. Is there something back here? Great. You better go talk to Hanson. He's been looking for you. I should read this journal. Journal number six. I am free, yet not free. It's been about seven hours since I spoke to Mira, and four since I smuggled this gem away. Here's what happened. After my conversation with Mira, she showed me a rather small boat which she had prepared for my journey. On this boat was enough provisions to get me farther than home. She explained to me that she enjoyed my friendship the past few weeks. We were here... The, the past few weeks we were here, in hopes one day we may be reunited. We then walked back to the village. Three hours came and went. It seemed as though Mira's, Mira was wrong about heart. When fighting broke out, Hart wanted that gem and didn't care who stood in his way. Mira... What? Okay. 
Waking up a few hours later with a black eye and heart gone, Mira told me it was time to leave. She said I, she and I said our goodbyes, and I headed off towards where I do not know. And still am. Interesting. Not a thief, but a friend. It sure is dark in here. Uh, by the way, I don't know whether or not I was recording for this part, so... Minos, you're the one stupid around here with no purpose. Why, I never... Oh, dear, wait a minute. I never really... I never did really take a good look at those old controls. I heard Tali on the microphones earlier, and I, that's how I got here. So, labyrinth time! This is a really small maze, but it is... It, I'd say it's decent. I'm not saying I could do better, but... I would I would try to do better. No offense to comp side girl. Not no offense meant. Probably offense taken, but no offense meant. Ooh. Ah, Charlotte. T is T is that you? Who is there? Uh, you're not Charlotte. That is me. So you were not kidnapped, unless you call being gullible and tricked into searching this damp dark basement for a gem that may or may not exist. Being kidnapped. Then no. You have a lot of people worried, you know. Yes, I know. It was T's idea. T? Yes, you must be that detective they were talking about. Uh, you are working for... Talia. Yes, th that theater historian. Should have never believed her. To be honest, I wouldn't have if it wasn't for this journal she gave me. Journal? Yeah, here, take a look. Aha! The final piece to the puzzle! Well, I've done it. I, I traveled for so long, it is nice to be settled finally on land for good. It's been three months since I first left Mira's Island with this gem. I traveled for a month before finally landing here and setting for out for inland. I took work in the theater here, working as a sage-hand. Maybe someday I'll move up the ranks here. Who knows? All I know is that I must protect this gem from the wrong hands. Here it should be safe. Here, hopefully, it'll be safe. This does make it seem like Nathaniel would keep the gem near him at all times since this was his theater. Exactly, but at this point, I just want to get back to the theater, back to the show. I feel awful for putting everyone through this. Why don't you just go back to, to the top? Because I don't know the way out. Only Talia does. I tried the entrance, but it looks to be only one way. I see. Well, I guess I should, we should start searching then. Agreed. Meet back here in an hour? Deal. And I'm going to find it before you do. Anyway, I should probably leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it so much, if you liked it, <laughs> make sure to punch that like button in the face like a boss. And by the way, I, I'm going to explain how I thought it was Talia, which it's actually very obvious how I thought it was Talia. But still, I'm going to explain how I thought it was Talia next episode. So thank you all, and I will see all of you in the next video. Farewell.